uh, uh, did you ever consider to become a blood donor? Well, I did, about three years ago. Uh, but for some reason I never got around uh, to give any blood any time. So, uh, last week I went back here, this is uh, my local hospital, uh, to, to give blood, finally. But uh, then my, uh, I had to register uh, again. So I did. And uh, now, seven days later, I'm here to finally uh, drain some blood. Uh, I guess that will be pretty fun, actually. Uh, I'm not sure why I wanted to be a blood donor. Uh, I guess it's uh, a lot cheaper than doing uh, heroin, and uh, it's a lot more fun than being really sick, so I need to take a lot of needles. But uh, I guess I don't think blood could, uh, could uh, satisfy my needle needs for uh, a few months at a time, I suppose. Uh, if you if you would consider to donate blood any time, there are a few things you need to remember. Uh, if you uh, change sex partners a lot, that can be a problem. If you do inject uh, narcotics or even smoke pot, actually, that can be a problem. Uh, and if you engage in homosexual sex, that can be a problem. And if you weigh less than 50 kilos, they won't let you. So if you are a hedonistic, gay, uh, anorexic, they won't let you in. But for the other people, you know, you know, uh, more uh, boring and and uh, more normal people, that should be fine. I'm not sure how much they will let me film inside the hospital, so I will give you a brief uh, overview of what will uh, actually go down in case I won't be able to film it. Uh, first, they will take me into a doctor's office, and he will ask me if I feel more or less sane and and healthy, and haven't been vomiting blood for the last few days. Uh, and then uh, they will uh, drain like uh, 450 milliliters of, of blood. I don't know how much that is uh, with that uh, silly uh, imperial uh, measurement scale. Okay, so uh, let's go and uh, have a look and maybe get some gross images, or maybe not. I forgot to tell you about the risks involved. Uh, there are uh, very few as far as I know, uh, but uh, there is a slight chance that you will pass out. Uh, being a kind of small, I guess. Uh, I suppose that might happen. That would be a new, uh, interesting experience. Det 
Den maskinen ruggar där, den pipan har gått för fort. Och så pipan har gått för sakta. Och så pipan med lång tid när pussen har fyllt sig upp till 450 ml. Okay. Så idag så ska ha du en bjärnsnör som är rostad hela tiden. Men nästa gång du gör så kan det hända att vi snur ryggen till det. Nu är jag klar med själv. Ja, <laughs> da om du stoppar själv. <laughs> Nej då. Men då är det så att när den har fyllt sig upp till 450 ml så, så luckar den kraftsen här. Och så kommer det långt i bilen. Ja. Da og så lukker den seg igjen, så da kan jeg trykke av ruden, og så skal jeg koble det fra. Ja. Da sveiser jeg jo av en sånn steril sveis først, slik at den posen det er et lukket system. Ja, ja da. Det er duggert. Ja. Det er ikke alt som er helt smertefritt. Sånn, done. Ok, all done. And I didn't, uh, I didn't pass out or I didn't turn pale or anything. So, this was ok. It's ok, it can... It, it stinks a little. That's not strange with that uh, really, really large needle, but... Okay, you should join to that. It was pretty cool.